Piper Mackay is filling Hyde Park with the sounds of Scotland's signature music. Jonathan Vigliotti tells us about an instrument that mixes tradition with very strong lungs. Every spring when Scotland thaws and roars back to life, another seasonal tune-up begins. May marks the start of bagpiping season. Yes, bagpipers hibernate too. The city of Glasgow's police band is practicing for a summer of competition. And in Edinburgh, the famous castle will soon host hundreds of kilted pipers for the annual military parade. The bagpipe and kilt were both instruments of war, dating back centuries. The kilt was used as a uniform, and pipers' haunting cries routinely played troops into battle until after World War I, when more than 500 pipers were killed. It's an unusual battle cry. Yeah, yeah, but intimidating, otherwise he would never have done it. Piper Craig Monroe says that intimidating sound comes from air, compressed through three pipes. Today, bagpipes appear in everything from weddings and funerals to tribute bands like the Red Hot Chili Pipers, in which Monroe plays. Do you ever get people that come up to you and say, I'm so surprised at how cool bagpiping is? The public's perception is an old man in a kilt with a grey beard, um, uh, and it's, it's very much changed now. It really is hand belief. When he's not like playing the bagpipes, Monroe's you know, uh, making them. Blocks of rare Tanzanian blackwood are shaped, then drilled. The final step is carefully adding decorative details by hand before That's assembling go, 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 and go, go, go. testing. Now I need to sit down. You got light head. I'll take them back. Bagpipe <laughs> business has been booming, and Monroe traces it back to That's 1995, when a movie by the name of Braveheart ignited interest in all things Scottish. But they'll never take our freedom! Let's see how much we're talking about here. Okay. And that's when kilt maker Robert Matheson says his business expanded Keep too. Going. Are we done yet? No. No. <laughs> There's still more. The traditional kilt is made using eight yards okay, of fabric. Room. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Today's style is only slightly different from kilts used on ancient battlefields. In those days, it was one piece of cloth, a filly bag, which wrapped around the waist and over the shoulder and they would sleep in their kilt as well. It could turn into a sleeping bag, if you like. Each kilt comes in 25 distinct tartans, plaits, representing different clans. Today, thousands of patterns are produced in factories around Scotland. Demand comes from all over the world. It wasn't cool to wear the kilt when I was learning the bagpipes. You get made fun of. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, nowadays, it has become very cool. Why has it become so fashionable again? I think people are more conscious of their own identity. So interested, kilts crop up on red carpets and runways. I think I got the legs for a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> Even Although on Sunday morning best. television. Do you wear underwear or not? If you're renting from us, you wear <laughs> underwear. It's a personal preference. What do you think the future is? Do away with trousers altogether. <laughs> so everybody walking down the street in a kilt. Why not? They're good for business. 